We're back with another review and this time it's on the tie bar. Let's go. What's going on familia? Welcome back to the channel and if it's the first time here, my name is Ivan Martinez, otherwise known as Mr. Martinez. In this week's video we are going to cover and do a review on the tie bar, more specifically their shirts and their polos. Now if you don't know who the tie bar is, the tie bar was a company that was founded in 2013 and they became super popular because they started producing very nice ties. They had a huge selection of ties. They also included tie bars. But as the years have passed, the company has grown and they've expanded to making shirts, polos, and even dress pants. So in this video, we'll be talking about the tie bars, shirts, and their polos. We'll also be discussing the fit, quality, and fabric of each item. I'll also be giving you guys my likes and dislikes. And at the very end, I'll be giving you guys my opinion on whether or not to invest in the tie bar before getting into the video i just want to mention this is not a sponsored post they were kind enough to send me these items they also sent me this tie and this tie bar now that you guys know that let's go ahead and jump in so let's go ahead and start with the shirt now with the shirt this is a size 15 and a half in the neck the tie bar does do a standard and then they do a trim fit this is a trim fit now for the fit i do want to say that they did knock it out the park with that I am a shorter guy and to find something that you know could fit me off the rack is relatively difficult so I didn't really have an issue with the fit on it the length was perfectly fine this is a casual shirt that's what they categorized it as but it seems to fit me pretty ideal as if I wanted to wear the dress shirt and uh, I gotta say that the sleeves were a little long and I can't really complain so much about that. Just being a shorter guy, you're used to having stuff off the rack that's just gonna be too long in the sleeve. As far as the fabric goes, I do wanna say that this is a pretty well-made shirt and that the linen was really soft and very breathable. I was actually wearing it today. I was taking pictures earlier and I didn't even break a sweat. It is very breathable and the linen just seems like it's very high quality. Now this shirt is at 65 bucks and I think most of their shirts are 65, maybe the lowest one's like 55. I do want to say that it is a pretty good shirt for that price. As far as characteristics go, there isn't anything that's too different. It does have a smaller collar though, which is something that I actually like. And again, it is a button down. It does have your regular double button cuff here. Not a lot to distinguish this shirt from others. Now let's go ahead and move into the polo, but let me go ahead and change real quick. Perfect. Now moving into the polo, this is actually one of the items that I was most excited to receive and it's because I heard that they actually had polos but I hadn't pulled the trigger to get one myself. One second. If you're liking this video, go ahead and give it one of these down below. It definitely helps the channel grow and also helps this video reach a wider audience. Appreciate the love. Now I got a brown polo and it's because I actually have never owned a brown polo. So I decided to pull the trigger with this one. Now they do have other colors though, so if you wanted to go ahead and check them out, along with the other pieces that I've already spoken about, I will have them linked down below. Now with the fit, I will say that it is really good. It is snug around my bicep here, and it actually comes down to exactly where I'd like my polos to be at. It's not too long, not too short, but again, the length is a little long on me. Um, there is a little bit too much so i do probably have to take it to a tailor to get it cut a little bit just to make it like the way that i want it but i think that for anybody else that's maybe a little bit taller not so much on the modest end i think that you wouldn't have an issue with this polo now with the fabric this is a mercerized cotton polo what is mercerized cotton let me explain now according to wikipedia and you can always believe wikipedia Mercerization is a textile finish treatment for cellulose fabric and yarn, mainly cotton and flax, which improves dye uptake and tear strength, reduces fabric shrinkage, and imparts a silk-like luster. In other words, it just means that the cotton is processed in a manner to make it silky and more luminous. This also makes the cotton stronger and reduces the chances of the fabric to shrink. Now the polo is $45 and I gotta say that for the quality of this polo, you're definitely getting what you pay for. Now the polo is ribbed on the sleeves and then it also is ribbed at the bottom, which is very interesting. They actually call this their sweater polo. And if you were wondering, this is a small. So is the tie bar worth it? Yes, in my opinion, they are worth the investment. 
I think that at a polo at $45 or $30, I think that that's a very fair price for the fabric that you're getting and the quality. Same thing with the shirt. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what items you have from the tie bar or what items you are planning to check out. Hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that bell notification to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Next week's video is going to be an exciting one. I am going to do a collaboration with a special guest. I won't say who it is. And we're actually going to talk about Instagram. It's going to be a little bit different, but we're going to go ahead and touch on Instagram and Instagram growth. So if you want to level up your IG game, check out next week's video. I appreciate you guys' this time, and as always, style up. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you haven't joined La Familia yet, go ahead and hit the button up there. And I have another recommended video for you right over there. And as always, style up.